Auto Tech Channel is sponsored by Autocom Associates, your auto PR and marketing partner, and Executive Search Partners, Michigan-born, nationally recognized IT search specialists. It's Mike Grennan. We're doing another one of our video news updates. And I'm with Jeremy McLean, and he's with Continental. And what we're going to be asking Jeremy is, what is Continental's focus this year at CAR? Yeah. So thanks for the question, Mike. As you may remember, uh, last year we focused on automated driving. We did an international drive of our cruising chauffeur vehicle from Detroit through the Windsor Tunnel into Canada and then over the Blue Water Bridge, and we ended that drive here in Traverse City. This year we've got to focus more on the uh, user experience and interior technologies. Uh, we're demonstrating our access technologies vehicle here uh, with biometric elements in order to add a layer of security and a layer of personalization to the vehicle. What, uh, what is Continental's vision for smart city technology? Yeah, so at, at Continental, the smart city initiative is really about taking our proven automotive know-how and experience and sensors and components and embedded systems and software and so on and bringing that to the infrastructure. So we're really focused there on enhancing overall safety of cities, reducing the emissions in cities and the overall pollution in cities, enhancing the parking situation in cities, uh, and improving traffic flow. All right. What can an intelligent intersection do to prevent accidents in which a vehicle fitted with high-level autonomous features, well, couldn't handle that? Yeah, good question. So, as you may know, about 50% of all accidents, injury accidents, are happening at intersections. About 28% of fatalities are happening at intersections. And the reason for that is they're very, very complex situations where drivers of vehicles and onboard technology sensors of vehicles have a very difficult time seeing the hidden danger. So put yourself in a situation where you're turning left at an intersection, you're in the turning lane, and there's an oncoming truck. And it's really hard to see beyond that truck. So you've got this hidden danger that may be coming, an oncoming vehicle. Uh, we as drivers, we tend to kind of poke our heads out the, the window to see what's coming. And at some point, you just use your experience and you take a chance. And that's why we have so many accidents and fatalities and injuries at intersections. Uh, so we feel that if we add intelligence to the infrastructure, we can see beyond uh, those occlusions and see that hidden danger and broadcast that information to the vehicles over uh, DSRC and other vehicle to X or vehicle to infrastructure communication technologies. What uh, industry developments do you see, Jeremy, uh, happening over the next five to ten years? Yeah, that's another good question. So, you know, we, we really see the developments towards automated driving, I'll focus on automated driving, happening in a what we call a new duality. So you've got the evolutionary approach towards automation that we've uh, or towards vehicle development in general that we followed for a number of years. And then you've got this revolutionary, top-down, driverless, uh, fully automated uh, drive towards automation that's happening in the, the most recent past. And we see that those two approaches will, will come together in the next five to 10 years. Also, mobility as a service uh, will be here in the next five to 10 years in a very, very big way. And ultimately, both of those things, especially the automated driving and the evolutionary, let's say, deployment of driver assistance functions will bring us closer and closer to Vision Zero which is the vision of zero accidents, injuries, and fatalities due to Absolutely. vehicle transportation. Yeah, I know 90% of accidents are human error. That's right. uh, so it'll be interesting to see how this all plays out. I listen to all the optimistic talk about how quickly this is yeah. going to come. Yeah. I'm not so optimistic. I think it'll take time to develop. Yeah, that's right. And I think that's important. That's an important point. If you, if you only focus on that revolutionary driverless vehicle technology, you miss all that deployment you could have in driver assistance systems and active safety technology, which is gonna save a lot of lives in the next five to 10 years. So it's important that you work on both aspects of that and we'll see them come together.